I took a photo with some cowboys and a salon girl. Hey, oh my god, where are my eyes, huh? Let me out of here, please. We're just tourists. Hey guys, it's Kate and Z and, and other, other adventures. adventures, and we are in Arizona. Arizona! Specifically, Tombstone, Arizona. Did the person who named the city not think it was going to sound creepy at all? Turns out, Tombstone got its name because of Ed Shiflin, a silver miner. In the past, Tombstone was just a mining camp. While Shiflin was in a camp on a scout mission, he would head out to the wilderness to look for stones. But his fellow soldiers said he wasn't going to find any. And if he went, he'll only end up finding his tombstone. But he managed to find an area with valuable silver ore and named it the Tombstone. Slowly, the area around the Tombstone became well known for its mines and that's when it became a city on its own. But that's not all. This is where they preserve just a little slice of the Wild West. Yeehaw! And so I thought, what better way to start telling you all about Tombstone, Arizona than through its historic courthouse. Built in 1882, the building is still well maintained till this day. As you can see, Zenas is very excited. Ooh. Now don't be bored by the Fifty Shades of Brown. Very colorful people actually walked through this building back in the day. Like Deputy Sheriff Bert Alford, who became a notorious robber. Wyatt Earp was a legendary frontiersman of the American West. He also took part in the famous gunfight at the OK Corral, killing three outlaw county cowboys. If you're interested to find out more, I suggest you watch the movies Wyatt Earp or Tombstone. And if you do, let me know if you like it, okay? In the movie, they feature these four people like a lot, specifically Wyatt Earp and Duck Holiday. The lifestyle here in Tombstone, it was um, Faro, which is a popular game of gambling, whiskey and women. So it's a very sinful town. This is an old school 3D photograph. You look through the viewfinder and you get a depth of field. Now we go to the most interesting part. The gallows. Oh my gosh. Zenas, we are standing where people used to get imprisoned before they were hung. This is super surreal. Just imagine the crowd will gather here and throw rotten eggs and decomposing fruit at the people that are about to be hung. For us, being from a modern society, it would be such an impactful thing to yeah. watch. But for um, people back then, it's entertainment for them. Yeah, it's a more rugged time, a more you know, lawless yeah. time. On to more lighthearted things. Look at all the ores I found. These are cattle barons, so interesting. You know when we say cowboys, it never occurred to me that they are actually cattle ranchers. Cowboys. The boys that take care of the cows. Is it I stupid or what? Z, did it ever occur to you that cowboys are cattle ranchers? That is exactly what they are. <gasps> that means I stupid. Uh. This is like scouts training back in the day. I never thought there could be so many versions of barbed wire. Court is in session. I'm getting really hungry. I wonder what people out in the Wild West eat for lunch. Home of the Buffalo Burger? Hmm. Scrape shit from boots before entering. All right. Oh, cool. We opted for breakfast food instead of burgers. Bread, eggs, skillet potatoes, you know the drill. Damn cheesy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn One shilk meal later. Let's go check out the historic Good Enough Mine. One of the most well-preserved mines in the state. This is where Ed Shiflin found the first silver. Behind Originally, right it cost like $40 for one ton of the rock. And then after a while, they discovered that it's um, $2,000 to the ton. And uh, that's when he's like, oh yes, we got a mine here that we're going to mine. That's how they would haul the, the silver back up. Underneath the entire town of Tombstone are mine labyrinths. As we are enjoying what's on top, what's below the ground is what started Tombstone. I can't wait to see what it's like 100 feet underground. Follow me, but be careful. It's quite a long descent down, but it's not scary at all. In fact, I loved it because I could feel the air getting cooler. A good treat away from the Arizona heat. 
you only have six hours of light for a 10 hour shift, so you're gonna have to do some mining completely in the dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch off the lights here. I'll give you an idea of their working conditions back then. That's our guide demonstrating how it's like to be working under pitch darkness. The single jack I showed you up top, hit quarter turn, hit quarter turn, and they would drill down like this, So the room that we're standing in right now has candle wax from like a hundred years ago when the miners are actually mining for silver ore. They glows like little stars when you shine a black light on it and that's super cool. So you can see there's like a little bit of a, a step back right here. As we were scaling the mine, it sort of uncovered it. I don't think that it was visible to them. They probably thought that the vein we're standing in had run out when there was still a little bit of the little end of it. Oh, it was so fun to yeah. see how like miners used to mine back in the day. They work so hard. Yeah, and the conditions are horrible. Okay, but they got paid very well too. Yeah. Wow. This is the gunfight site. Oh, here's the Fly's photographic studio from back in the day. This couple took lots of photos. And that was also in the courthouse where we visited and it showed all the photos that they took. And that's why there's such a great like photographic historic record of tombstone. Wow. Because it's because of, because of these guys. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's a souvenir shop now. What did you just do, Zenas? I just bought us some tickets to things. What is it? Let's go see a historama. I think we can still do that. Idea. <laughs> we can grab the tickets right there in that bowl right there. Make yourselves cozy. Thank you. Okay, so Zenas bought us tickets to watch a historama. The story revolves around Ed Shiflin finding silver and other discoveries. In the spring of 1879, Watervale was abandoned as the temporary camp's residence and the flocking newcomers. We get to see an actual gunfight. The whole outdoor theatrical experience was pretty incredible. The actors were so good at reenacting the famous OK Corral gunfight between the lawmen and a group of outlaws. Also, I didn't know gunshots were this loud. The story of this whole town surrounds this gunfight, you know, and this is the Tombstone story. I think everybody who's coming through Arizona should definitely visit Tombstone. If not for the historical stories, then just for the entertainment value. And yet again, it's time to eat. I got three different kinds of enchiladas. One with cheese, one with ground beef, and one with steak and two different sauces. You can see the red sauce and the green sauce on each of them. This is incredible. If you're ever in Arizona, you have to look for a Shrimp enchiladas with rice and beans, y'all. The enchiladas left me speechless. If you're looking for a restaurant or someplace great to eat, just trust Google. The higher the rating, the better. But also it has to be reviewed by many many people not like mm. seven people 12 people i'm saying like hundreds of people that's how you know the locals love it the travelers have tried it because the locals have suggested it and they loved it too we left tombstone because we had to meet a friend in phoenix matt is a fellow van lifer and youtuber this incredible man moved from detroit to ningpo and has lived there for like 10 years he's back to build a van from scratch and when he came back he was featured in an article in the new york times it's hilarious how Americans view China sometimes. He featured us in one of his vlogs, Le. Which one? I guess you'll just have to go to his channel and find out. After we had our film, we made sure to check out his van. Matt is driving pretty much the same van as us, but upgraded. This is nothing right now. In the end, it's going to be a lot of something. This will be the kitchen, sink, and then uh, prep area, all my uh, hydronic heating system and things will be behind this, uh, this drawer here. And then I'll have the over the wheel well water tank that will be here. Thank you so much for sharing all about your experiences with us, Matt. Till we meet again. The internet says that we can't leave without eating Colombian 
hot dogs. This place has a 4.7 review by like about a thousand people, so we have to try it. Simon's Hot Dog specializes in Colombian style beef and pork hot dogs. They even have vegan options available. How's everything, guys? Well, we're about to try it. This is the owner. Say hi, hi to Singapore. Hi, how are you? Ooh. The pineapple makes it sweet, but the saltiness of the, the hot dog brings it all together. So this is the Sonoran cousin, and he says it has a more Mexican flavor. The tartness of the jalapeno really mixes well with the beans. I can see why it is really popular here in Phoenix, Arizona. Why are you looking at? I don't know if we should follow this Instagram account. So me, Simon shot dogs, man. <laughs> While we were at the restaurant, the owner told us we needed to go to Sedona on our way to Antelope Canyon. So what next? We chiong la! We made it! The majestic red rock scenery and evergreen vegetation are two reasons for the unique energy of Sedona. Hey, look at those people up there on the rock. Oh, wow! So I think there's a bell rock climb and we could go up there if we want to. And did we? We didn't. We walked around it instead because we were lazy. And I was really so stunned like vegetable that the rock is red. Not just the little pebbles, but the entire rock. Wind and water erosion created these astoundingly beautiful rocks that are composed of basalt, sandstone, and limestone. The reason for its color is due to the presence of hematite, a common iron oxide. When it rains really heavily, the water will come down and create waterfalls. I bet it's really beautiful to see. What are you doing? Look how moist the ground is. That once you get just a bit past the surface level, it has a lot of water in it, actually. Like clay. Yeah. It's like a fairyland. We were so immersed in the beauty of Sedona until we got lost. We underestimated the time needed to finish this trail, and it's longer than we expected. But uh, just when we thought, oh no, the moon came out. Well, we better get going because um, getting I think really we're going to arrive at a car <laughs> past the sun all the way down. So it's going to be dark. Let's go. One eternity later. Hello, man. Very nice to see you. <laughs> the next morning, I went into super spy mode. Setting up my hidden camera and all because I thought we weren't allowed to film at Antelope Canyon. Turns out we could. All that drama for nothing. The only way to enter the canyon is through tour groups. The reason being, 11 hikers died due to a sudden flash flood in 1997. These scheduled group tours make sure you don't go down the canyon during unfavorable seasons. Here's Tyler, our guide. He's briefing us before our descent into Lower Canyon. The canyon actually consists of two separate slot canyons, the Upper and Lower Antelope Canyon. The canyon has a wave-like structure that gives it its distinct look. This was created by water that flowed over its walls over many years. How the light beam shines through the gaps. It looks different at different times of the day. You won't be able to get enough of this. It is amazing. Wow. One thing to note is how narrow and uneven the path is. So just be extra careful and you're good. Oh boy. It's a really small. And finally, we're out. Alright guys, so that was Arizona and Arizona is pretty much the last state on our list of states to visit. If you get the chance to visit Arizona, it is gorgeous and it has pretty good internet. You Everywhere, even desert got internet. It's like, woo, wah, nice. So what's next? We're heading back to Utah to visit my family for Christmas. I'm really looking forward to Christmas with my family. We can't believe we're already on day 58 of our 81-day van life road trip. This journey has been nothing short of spectacular and definitely a fantastic experience for us both. Being able to walk among rich history and ancient nature trails is quite humbling as someone who comes from a young and thriving man-made city-state called Singapore.
It just goes to show, really, how little we all know, and that there is no end to what we can learn if we travel even just slightly out of our comfort zones. The most perfect place on earth, where flies don't bite your eyeballs, and human life has worth. In the place of fairy tales, it's as real as it can be. A land where evil doesn't exist, Salt Lake City. And now, we're headed back to family. Look who's back! Hey, Santa! Hello? It's girl time! The best part about opening presents is seeing those kids' faces light up. Oh my god. Merry Christmas, Mom. Spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go 